I know what to do, I just don't know where to go. Probably follow the pipes, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. Each one of the pipes probably leads to a torture chamber. Because it seems like they made a comment about, um... The pipes being led to... The prisoner cells. Some health, that'll be useful. Damn it. That made me fucking jump. Holy shit, my heart. That was a good one, game. That was a good one. That one actually got me. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and began to leak. That is an Iron Maiden, yes it is. There's a slight misconception about Iron Maidens. The misconception is that they got spikes that when you're closed inside there, right? Ow, 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 ow. Why did I go in there like an idiot? That was stupid. But anyways, the misconception is the spikes. There are some Iron Maidens that are meant to sp spike you all the way through. But the general premise is you slowly kill yourself in it. By the muscle twitches of your own body. Lovely, isn't it? We need to go over there for that. Chamber, or whatever, pipe. behind me Who are you to question me? I've already been here. Understandable. There are certain... Oh, that sucks. I gotta bypass Douchebag McGee over here. I'm pretty sure I was over here as well and I need to just go over there, but I want to double check to make sure. Absolutely hate this. Yeah, this is the wheel. We were in here already. Oh, we're going insane. 
Now we got a slight headache. I'm, I'm being very quiet because I'm trying to listen for the sounds of the monsters. Just so I don't accidentally run into one. Yeah? I th think that makes sense. All right, we got three over there. I think the next three are in the other room, like the other area. Did you know? To try and prove that alternating current was dangerous, Edison used it to electrocute and kill an elephant when he and Tesla were competing to try and get their electricity up there. Edison was doing direct current and Tesla was going for alternating current. Ah, you get it. Incredible. You found Vile's recipe that there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate, a door to another world. It's where he wants to go. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the gate at him. Please, find the ingredients that prepare the tonic via the sky. And do so before you assemble the ore. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the 13 home, ghosts. You won't be able to save him. You'll have to Google that one, but 13 ghosts comes to mind for one of the scariest movies. Even though... Even though I got... Like a trauma of sorts from Child's Play. I need to get to the laboratory. Even though Child's Play kind of fucked me up when I was younger, it was... Definitely 13 ghosts. How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me already! Kill me! This one, prepare you. Lovely. The Exorcist. Absolutely lovely. I might have to bump my gamma up just to be able to see where the hell I'm going. The rapist hanged upside down, his tears soiled with blood flooding from his belly. The saw between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. I can't quite think of it right now. I think I'm gonna have to... I mean, I can still see. That is a gruesome one.
string? Now what is that for, I wonder? Notes on torture, there are quite a few things to be said about torture. I had figured that the reaction I would get from the victims would be highly individual. Thankfully, this is not the case. The humans all have a very similar approach to dealing with physical pain and the terror of anticipation. I can't stress enough the importance of restraining the victims before proceeding. Even the most timid creature can break out in fits of violence while where their strength exceeds their expected prowess. If proper care has been put into breaking the victim, this should not be a problem, but it will also hinder the effect I am after. The right steps to take are, therefore, to restrain while the victim is still dazed, proceed by presenting the form of torture you are about to apply, and then to continue with the sexual act. The point of presentation is to infuse terror. The human mind is extremely efficient as it will trigger itself into greater fear simply by imagining it. While applying pain, make sure to avoid massive damage as it will prove more efficient if the process can be sustained. Also apply the pain in doses, if possible, with breaks to let the body settle. If you are whipping or cutting the victim, strike once, wait for the pain to subdue, and strike again. As long as the body suffers, it will continue to produce the vitae and saturate the blood with its properties. Only with careful performance will the victim yield maximum effect. If the victim doesn't behave as expected, it is likely that all will be for naught. Before this happens, feed them the amnesia drink and try again later. Wonderful. Annabelle is really bad. Is it you, my love? I miss the most, or is it perhaps myself? I know what I have become. I am not blind. I am a monster to them, a demonic salt ten perched on a dark mountaintop. There is little I can do to redeem myself. The Black Eagle fears me, and after Napoleon's defeat, it is only a matter of time before they will demand my head on a platter. I must remove myself from this land. This time, it must work. If I can't return home now, I shall perish. Then perish. on notes uh B tonic made from a paralyzer vitae and tamter we just need the vitae I think ugh Is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Huh. Wonderful. No, no, please! Do anything! Whatever you want! Anything! Do anything! I The Arxis kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the Impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. 